I was growing up, I always hated the sound of the saxophone because the only people that I had, I had heard were the people on the radio. You know, I wasn't interested in the horn at all. I stumbled on my folks' record collection. They had a copy of Time Out. That's the first time that I heard the saxophone and, and thought, that's really beautiful. Maybe there's some possibilities with this instrument. I just kept bugging them and bugging them until they got me a horn. And, uh, you know, that was, that was a big reason, was just from hearing Paul. <laughs> I don't know how many times I listened to Time Out, you know, how many times I listened to Take Five when I was really first starting, when I was 10 years old, you know, uh, a million times. So even though I don't think I've heard it in years, I'm sure I could, I could sing along with every note. Johnny Hodges, for some reason, on the radio one day, they, they played the entire Queen Suite by Duke Ellington. And, uh, and he plays, really, it's probably just like eight or 16 bars on the first movement of that piece called uh, Sunset and the Mockingbird. And I immediately went out and got the record. And uh, again, I don't know how many times I must have listened to that. <laughs> I really learned a lot from him. He was he was old school. Now that I have a little more perspective, you know, I see how funny some of the situations were and just just what a character he was. But when he picked up the horn, I mean, that was the real thing. The real things. I mean, I feel like I, I'm probably the last generation that, you know, got any bit of a, some kind of taste of what that, of what that was like and what those guys were actually like and where, it, you know, where it was originally coming from. He has such a different approach from most of the people that, that I ever worked with. But he took such a unique direction with his own playing and with his own music, kind of uh, anti-analytical. You see him behind the drums, he looks like a kid who has never seen a set of drums before and he's just going, bam, <laughs> bam, bam. Like he's tried to weed out all of the, the extra stuff, the extra kind of unnecessary uh, filters or doubts in his mind and he's just going going by by sound and he just completely trusts his instincts <laughs> Maybe the thing that's made the strongest impression on me is just how much he believes in what he's doing and that he's, he's just kept on doing it. He just doesn't give up. He's, you know, an extremely focused musician, focused individual. You can hear that in his playing. It's like a, you know that you can completely rely on what's going on back there. It's, it's going to be right. But he's also extremely generous, I think. He's a very, very generous person. The way that he puts the band together, you know, he really wants everyone to bring what they have in and, and he wants to learn from it. So there's this kind of perfect personality for a bass player too, it's, you know, this, this extreme groundedness along with, a, you know, a real just kind of natural curiosity about everything, desire to learn. Also, it's just great how much I've had a chance to work with, with one of the great bass players out there. It spoils me. <laughs> I just, I just kind of had an, a sound in my head. Of course, I grew up with 
funk music. I was always reading that there was supposed to be some kind of a dichotomy between that kind of music and this kind of music and you know to me it just never even quite quite made sense. Figure out a way to use all these influences, all this music that I that I really loved, you know, sort of an organic way. Not giving up on the idea of, you know, serious improvisation. It can be different every night. It's, you don't know where it's going to go, very, very free. And I felt like I had something unique to say if I went in that direction. Now it's, what, maybe five years later, something like that. And, and I feel like the band has really found a personality. Felt like it took some time to, to really get there. And now it's, you know, it's, it's really something that I'm extremely proud of. Thank <laughs> you.